Donnie Wilson of Wilson Auto Sales in Brookhaven is at the center of this story. And these two seemingly similar bills of sale are the catch to a big crime. First purchased the vehicle. Now meet Derek um, Suttles. He's also a part of this story, but we had to tell him why. He gave me the paperwork to get the, the registration and, you know, the tag and sticker and all that. And that was basically it. Suttles is talking about a truck he bought from Wilson Auto Sales in 2005. The cost, 8500 bucks, plus nearly 500 in sales tax. I didn't trade any any vehicle in. You see, trading in a car would have cut down on the cost of Suttles truck, meaning he'd pay less in sales tax. Keep that in mind. And I actually had a car at the time that I was trying to trade in, but he didn't want to take the trade in because he said I owe too much money on the car. So Wilson sold Suttles the truck with no trade in. I jumped on the deal, you know, not knowing in the future this is what was going to happen. What happened? Donnie Wilson created a way to pocket a portion of the sales tax money Suttles and dozens of other customers paid. Really? According to the Lincoln County District Attorney, here's how Wilson did it. Let's go back to those bills of sale we showed you. On one dated May 4th, 2005, a customer purchased a 1999 GMC Sierra 150 truck for 12300 bucks. Sales tax on that is $615. The total this customer paid, $12,930. No trade-in is listed, and you can see Donnie Wilson signed off on it. But this bill of sale never made it to the state tax commission. This one did. It's the same customer, same date, same model truck purchased, but look at the trade-in section. The Lincoln County DA says Wilson falsified the document to show the customer traded in a 99 Jeep Wrangler worth $8,500. He also bumped up the price of the truck he was selling. The altered difference shows the customer paid sales tax on $7,100, equaling $276. So Wilson paid the $276 to the state, but pocketed the difference from the real sales tax amount of $615. In this case, it's 339 bucks. But Wilson did it so many times to so many people, he pocketed $359,000, money that was supposed to be used for your kid's education, roads, Medicaid, and more. I broke the news to Suttles that he's one of Wilson's victims. I was shocked. The Lincoln County District Attorney charged Wilson with 32 counts of tax evasion. I never would have thought, you know, Mr. Wilson would did such a thing. Now I called Donnie Wilson at Wilson Auto Sales, which is still open and operating for business. I wanted to give him a chance to explain the tax evasion charges and why he did it. But he declined an interview saying that there is still pending litigation about how much money he owes to the state tax commission. Instead, he referred me to his lawyer. Yes, this is Jessica Larcia with Fox 40 News trying to reach Donnie Wilson's attorney. So after a week of phone calls to Wilson's attorneys in Jackson and Brookhaven, we're still waiting on that return call. You pay your sales tax and it's the business responsibility to pass that on to the state. Lincoln County District Attorney D. Bates says Wilson's crimes came up in a state audit five years ago. It took the tax commission a year and a half to find 32 victims who'd talk. Hundreds more couldn't be contacted. It's coming from our tax dollars that um, are paying for education, paying for highways, uh, paying for law enforcement. In a plea deal, Wilson pled guilty to four of the 32 tax evasion charges. He could have faced up to five years for each count. But instead, the judge ordered he pay $359,000 back to the state. Right now, the state could use the money that is, that is owed. For Suttles, the news is unsettling. It's a shame you can't go on a car lot and purchase a vehicle, you know, without, you know, getting robbed in the process. I thought Donnie Wilson will spend a whole lot more than a penny to repay. Reporting in Brookhaven, Jessica Larche, Fox 40 News at 9.